whole fucking game. Saying I won somehow. I won because I'm great. Anyways, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. Uh, as you can tell by my gravelly voice, I am still sick. In fact, I'm kind of like worse than what I had before. But I, I think I'll be okay going through this one episode. Actually, now that I think about it, I should probably drop Pitch off. Um, <laughs> before we take on Koga. We're gonna be taking on Koga, and then I think we're going to go, uh, in the other direction. Go up the other route. Uh, so that, like, all of that's out. I don't want to tackle the Safari Zone right now, because there's a lot to do there. And I mean, a lot. It's a little ridiculous. Oops, and I went into the wrong box. There we go. So I'm going to just, you know, sort of hope to myself that uh, I don't actually, like, get fucked over. Uh, oh my god, my brain's even, like, having a hard time. I'm just going to hope to myself that I don't get fucked over in Koga's gym. Um, the m majority of what Koga uses are, like, poison-type Pokemon. And I have Vulpix out first because technically Vulpix can take out most of the Pokemon that we're going to be up against. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's not the best option, but it's one of them. I'm going to give Doduo the EXP share. I really should have picked up like more revives and lemonades and stuff, but I didn't. So we're just going to go on. Oh, no, I have seven revives. Maybe I did pick up more revives. I can't remember at this point. So, like I mentioned, Koga is like the, uh, poison slash, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, poison and bug type? Well, he's not technically the bug type, but he's, but he's the poison gym leader. Oh, wow. You know, I don't know if you guys can see this on, on the smaller screen, but like, Looking at it on my TV, okay, the gimmick to this one is obviously we can't go up right next to them because they're invisible walls, but I'm looking at this on my TV since I'm playing through the game, uh, the GameCube Game Boy Player, and I can actually see the invisible walls up here. Wow. S video cables, man. S video cables. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and defeat all of his, uh, trainers because, well, let's face it, they're pansies against us at this point. We're... Overleveled for here, underleveled for Sabrina. <clears throat> I don't know how that works. You know, when I said that Koga... See, there's invisible walls here. When I said that Koga was the poison gym leader, I guess that's not technically true. I mean, this is one of the weird gym leaders where he doesn't actually technically have a... Um, a specific uh, type in mind, but... Most of the Pokemon he uses end up being poison because of, you know, just the theme. He's a themed uh, one, and, like, he's a ninja. Or ninja in quotation marks, because, I mean, really, how can you actually be a ninja? But he's a ninja, and, like, he takes Pokemon that, like, have ninja-like moves, so they can be psychic or, like, sly, and, you know, there's a whole bunch of different things that it could possibly be. It just so happens that most of them are psychic and poison. Wow, Persian Hawk got hit pretty hard in that battle. I'm legitimately surprised. Where are those hyper potions that I bought? Or did they go into another slot? Uh, oh crap. I have to try and find these. I really should organize this in my own time. But that would take effort and work. Throw the potion out his face. How much did hyper potions heal? I might have just used that for no reason. So again. Invisible walls. You know, it's. I, I'm gonna end up like eating my words because we haven't seen any of the poison type Pokemon that there could possibly be. It's all just been psychic. What the fuck? Alright, another one down. Man, I took out my Vulpix. That son of a bitch. Well. You know, his Pokemon aren't getting up anytime soon. You know, I always wondered why, like, the other trainers never went to the 
Pokemon Center to heal their Pokemon. I mean, they're just sort of out, out of commission for the rest of the game. Or I guess because you beat them once, they don't want to like, face you again or whatever. Still weird. Huh. And yeah, this is the first time they mentioned ninja Pokemon. What the hell? Well, I guess tamers are the other people that can be in here. Well, balls, my Pokemon took a little bit of a beating. Ah, uh, well, I, I guess I'll go heal up and then go around again. I'll be quick about this. I'll be right back in a second. You know, it suddenly occurs to me that I only know one of Koga's Pokemon. Probably not a good thing. Right, let's see. Yeah, up here. And then... Technically, you don't have to fight any other trainers. You can just go in here. So it's all the way to the right, up. And then you can go down here. But for these trainers, actually, there isn't a way up and around to them. You gotta go, like, up towards them specifically. It's a little weird. <clears throat> I descended from the Vikings. I fight. And I will bring blood for Valhalla. Oh, finally! Awesome! So now instead of dumb two-headed bird, we have an awesome-looking three-headed bird. I mean, like... Oh yeah, that's cool. It's even got a cool sprite in here. And oh, they took out my Vulpix. Those bastards. I'll make them pay. I'm waiting for uh, Vulpix to learn Fire Blast because it learns it much earlier than... Uh, or actually, uh, Ninetales can't learn Fire Blast at all. And so... I want Vulpix to get that move because it's a lot more powerful than Flamethrower. And after that, I can finally evolve it into Ninetales. Alright, and all the trailers are defeated. Let's see, I gotta switch out my Pokemon a little bit. I think that should be good. Koga, um, has a couple of strong Pokemon, so it doesn't really fuck around. But, I mean... We're not gonna lose to him, obviously. <clears throat> Yeah, so he's officially like the poison type dude, but I, I don't know. That's why I brought, uh, Kadabra. Because he will fuck Koga's Pokemon up. That's basically what Sabrina does to everybody else. <clears throat> Kadabra just destroys. So we can use Kadabra for three out of four of his Pokemon. Um, we unfortunately, like, one of the Pokemon is a little bit tougher to use Kadabra on. Also, wow. A powerful ass muck. I don't know if we can kill it, can we? Ooh. Oh, nice. Kadabra killed muck. Coughing. We should be able to one-shot coughing, I think. Yeah. Oh, come on. We did it last time. Bam. And then the last one is a really, like, out-there Pokemon that I would have never expect. Oh! Wheezing? What? But that... That's not right. When did he use a Venomoth? I could have sworn he had a Venomoth as his last Pokemon. Well, I guess not. That... Huh. Let's try Vulpix. Vulpix might not make it through this fight, though. But he has a decent chance with Flamethrower. I mean, I could just abuse the Hydro Pump, but that worked. <clears throat> 
And there we go, Koko is defeated. We get the soul badge. Yeah. Two badges and two episodes. Oh yeah, we can use Surf outside of battle. Oh yeah, and he teaches us the, or gives us the TM for Toxic. And that's it. We, uh, we beat Koga. Yay. I'll admit, he's a pretty lackluster uh, Pokemon gym leader, especially if you've faced Sabrina before doing this. Because then you're, like, ready for everything he could possibly throw at you. And you probably have Pokemon that are, you know, strong against his types. I mean, one Psychic Pokemon took down three out of four of his Pokemon really, really easily. And the fourth one didn't go down just because it was so high level. <clears throat> but oh well. That's better for us, to be honest. Now... Uh, you know what, let's go around and like explore Fuchsia a little because we haven't actually gone around here and checked out stuff. Yeah, Big Boulder could be able to push it. Hmm, I wonder how we do that. Weirdo. Weirdo that can't talk right. Yep, we'll get back to that later. Hint, hint. What's this dude? Oh. Yeah, I like to fish. Oh, and we got the good rod. It's not as good as the super rod, I guess, because they guess they uh, expect you to take the other route down, like the one with all the bikes, and uh, not, you know, to go this way. And there's a pond right there. I believe we can catch, like, Krabby or something? Or it's... No, Star U is in the other one. We can catch Krabbies here. Aha, I knew there was something here. Max arrive in the backyard. Um... I'll probably go over like the best spots to catch Pokemon later um, in the water because we'll be doing a lot of that once I get Surf and I don't really want to go through it right now. I believe this house right here in the middle. Oh no, that's not the Safari Zone. Oh yeah, there's like a... Uh... Oh my god, Chansey. Chansey's going to be a bitch to try and catch. Slowpoke. Voltorb in there. Uh, for some reason I thought, you know, it'd be easier. Man, there's a Lapras in that. We have a Lapras. There's a Mart. What? I'm a knight. That... Mm, something about that doesn't sit right with me. Because <clears throat> you're only supposed to get Omanyte from something that happens later, but there it is on display. Uh, um, no, I, you're a weirdo, man, like, wow, that was, that was creepy as fuck, I'm not gonna lie, that, that was messed up, alright, let's see, What else is around here? Is this just like a base of operations for the Safari Zone? Oops, sorry, I'm like having trouble moving around. Yeah, I guess it is. Not really that useful of a house, but I honestly don't remember this being here in red when I played it. Maybe like it was a different house back then? Or it had something else? I don't know. Sorry, lost sync for a second there. Okay, so there's a mart over here. Uh, nothing really back here. And that's really all there is to Fuchsia. It's a nice little town. And I mean, obviously, there's one other place we haven't been to. Uh, I guess I can show you guys that real quick. I'm not going to go to, down too far because there are <clears throat> trainers there. And I don't really want to fight them. I, I haven't checked these houses, I guess. I think... Uh, these are people that want to trade. Oh, it's Bill's grandson. Or grandpa. <laughs> Bill is his grandson. That's interesting. I wonder what like the different color text from the different people mean. It's never entirely explained. Oh, the move the leader. 
So this dude can make even HMs be forgotten. Remember this guy, if you ever fuck up and you make like an HM carrier and you want that Pokemon to have something else, remember that guy. I'm just gonna go down here for a second. So there are a bunch of swimmers down here. And it's another route. We're now we're not gonna take this until later because honestly, like, we're moving on to a whole different section of the game at that point. And I don't wanna do that just yet. Because I know something else happens there. And then there's Route 18. Oh god. Oh, uh, alrighty then. <clears throat> I guess we're already in a new battle. I didn't expect to do that. Wow, well, well, I didn't really expect to get into a battle. I actually wanted to ch check this place out first. Because there's always something up here on the second floor. I don't remember what's here. Is it just somebody who wants to trade? Yeah, they want to trade a slow bro for a Lickitung. We'll go through and like, I'll show you all the trader guys that I mixed, missed. I know I only did a couple of them. Uh, mostly it's because the Pokemon that some of them want, like I can't actually physically get yet. And I need to wait until I get into the water to get most of them. Stop asking for impossible things, you assholes. Yeah, as you can tell by the levels of the Pokemon that we're fighting here, they, uh, they really expected you to come down this way first. And maybe I should have come down this way. It's also, like, a lot more interesting, but... Hey, whatever. I went down the other way. Can't blame me. You fuck up my day, Drio. I fuck up yours. God damn. Try attack is ridiculous. Holy shit. I don't know if there's any new Pokemon in this grass. I honestly can't remember. Which is a little worrying to me, but oh well. I'll check it out another time. Oh yeah, the bike route. So you can only be on your bike here. No pedestrians permitted. And as you can tell, there's a whole bunch of bikers up here. Oh right, it's like a downhill slalom. Oh man, that's right. Oh, it's gonna like pull me downhill all the time. Well, that sucks. Well, I guess I'm gonna just have to like force my way up. I mean, there's nothing much I can do. It's a notice. Don't throw the game, throw Pokeballs into. What the fuck? What does that even mean? Oh, is this like the safe path that I just went up? Oh, I guess not. There's a biker right in front of me. Be a rebel. I've never seen that sprite before, but it's absolutely terrifying. Holy shit. That's like the scariest motherfucker I've seen in this game. That's messed up, man. It's really messed up. I, I don't like him. Oh god, there's another one. Your Machoke won't level up because you have to trade him. Which is a really weird thing for, like, Pokemon to level up. Especially when, like, the game spouts all about friendship and there's a whole lot in the anime to do with friendship. It's just weird, man. I had even more drop frames in that fight. It's just never gonna give me a break with that, is it? Christ. Whoa. This is... This is a lot longer of a route than I remember it being. Holy balls. Are all those guys trainers? I honestly can't remember. Oh, yep, yep, they are. Okay, then. Well, I guess we just have to sort of plow through these guys. Ugh. Time to kill them all. Biker Hideo. Like, Hideo Kojima? What the fuck? He's a Pokemon trainer? Actually, I, I understand that, actually. Well, I guess this is as good as time as any to heal my Pokemon. Oh yeah, it keeps you on the fucking bike. Forgot about that. Also, you can ride your bike through the things? Man, I really should have been using the bike a lot more. Ah, crap, where's the Pokemon Center here? There it is. Hmm... I might make an episode about the, uh, the game corner and just like 
winning prizes there. Although maybe I won't. I don't know. A lot of it's based on, uh, about money, <clears throat> and you can actually like decide not to play at all and just end up using the money uh, to get everything from the game corner, which I may end up doing because I've got Persian and I can abuse the hell out of that payday thing, which I really should be doing more. In fact, let's let's abuse payday right now. Abuse it on all these bikers. Yeah, Persian destroys everything. It's awesome having a Pokemon that that's that high in level. <clears throat> and just abusing it. Especially with a move that gets you more and more money. The higher the level of the Pokemon. <clears throat> They're also sore about losing to me. But I mean, shit, they're the ones that are terrible at this game. I mean, it's not that hard to win a fight. Well, I guess against a different person it is a little bit. I know if I was in a fight with another person, we would be constantly trying to do, get the type advantage. Lots of switching, maybe. Well, I don't know. Switching can be a curse, too. Because obviously, if you switch... When your other Pokemon can't handle the next attack, you're kind of boned. Jesus, almost like triple what the dude had. There's even more grass here. I really gotta look up and see what Pokemon are here. Because if it ends up being that there's Pokemon that, you know, we don't have yet, I have to come back here and catch them. Actually, to be fair, I don't know if I've ever seen Machamp. Huh. I wonder if I should have talked during that. Oh well. I guess we'll never know. Well, now that Kadabra has Psychic, it is an unstoppable force. Not really though. It'll like fucking wreck everything now. It's gonna be a little frightening with just how much power it can kill. Let's try it out. You know, I never actually realized that Kadabra was that close to learning it. Let's see. If I'm right, there's nothing actually down here, is there? There's trainer tri tips. Really? Press B to stay in place while on a slope? Huh. Forgot about that one. Yeah, this yellow path is kind of useless, ain't it? Watch out for what? Oh. There could be items down there. Well. We'll find out in a minute. Shit. Kadabra just don't doesn't give any fucks anymore. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's it for there. I don't know where any of these items are, though. I could have sworn that there were items around here. Hmm. I guess not. Anyways, let's go down the left slope. Whee! Oh, there's a guy. Bam, another one down. Let me guess there's another biker down here to challenge us. There we go. We further down the path. Oh, that's it. Well, there you go. There's the entire path from Route 17 to Route 18. There's not a lot down it, and I haven't checked the... Uh, the grass yet to see if there's anything we need there but it gives you a general gist i'm sorry this is such a short episode especially with all the speeding up but i uh i'm just not feeling well and i can't really do more than this so uh i'll see you guys next time and hopefully i'll be feeling better we will tackle the safari zone and all of its infinite wonder and ah oh, god damn it i can't
feel excited for it. It's going to be a lot, guys. It's going to be a lot. Not only is it going to be a lot of catching Pokemon, it's going to be a lot of walking. And I actually have to go through the Safari Zone once without, like, picking up most of the items. So I'm not looking forward to that. Anyways. I will see you guys right here next time on Pokemon Leaf Green. Bye-bye.